Defense taking the border battle into their own hands. New tonight, ABC 15's Dave Viscabing spoke to one group planning to confront the drug cartels and human smugglers. Come armed, not just your sidearm. Things can easily get out of control. It has a recipe for trouble. This is the Minuteman Project on steroids. This weekend, JT Reddy and a group of armed men plan to take Arizona's border battle into their own hands. We're going to have patrols going all night long. What we're going to do is shut down the drug corridor that's coming directly into Phoenix. Reddy is a member of the National Socialist Movement, and his citizens' militia group is tired of waiting. And some of them are going to be doing some covert stuff, so we even have some snipers that are coming out. If we wait any longer, we're going to have to lower the American flag and call it northern Mexico. While this group is taking what some call an extreme stance, they are far from alone. Are calling uh, and writing emails literally uh, probably a hundred plus a day. That's how many people, regular citizens, are contacting the Pinal County Sheriff's Office offering to bring guns and help patrol the desert. His office isn't the only one. Been a pretty big uh, response from all across the board. There's no question that Arizona's immigration law is controversial. Its national news has people boycotting, filing lawsuits, and protesting. But citizens patrolling the border, that's where officials say it needs to end. There's a lot more that goes into it just than somebody who has a gun. People getting killed out there and drug cartels are warring against each other. A few weeks ago, the White House promised thousands of troops to secure the border. But Arizona is still waiting. Send troops. We need troops now. And that's why JT Reddy and his group say enough is enough. And if the government won't bring the firepower, they will. Defending our nation is dangerous. And we fortunately have some good patriots that are willing to put their lives on the line. Dave Biscoving, ABC 15 News. Also